All right, guys, welcome to another episode of the Limitless Mindset Podcast. I wanted to make a video today that I think is going to start helping you guys set up to make 2022 one of the best years of your guys' life. Um, you know, it's interesting. One of the things that I see so many people waste so much of and is such a limited resource, and it's also free, but people don't take the most advantage of it, is your time. You know, one of the things that uh, is most important to me is my time these days. You know, I never really understood it. Uh, you guys have probably always heard it, right? Time is money. Time is limited. And I really think that so many people never grab a true grasp of what that means. I know that I didn't uh, when I was younger. I know throughout my 20s, I didn't. You know, I had the job that basically you would go in and you would punch the clock, right? You got the eight to five, nine to five, whatever it is. And, you know, it's one of those things that we just waste so freely, uh, I remember being in my 20s one day, and I'm not a guy that plays video games. It's just not something I do. I don't play a whole lot of games. I don't really watch a lot of TV or anything like that. And I remember my son had had this uh, this video game. Uh, this is when he was really young. He probably would have been four or five, you know, and um, I think I can't remember what it was. It might have been a PlayStation or something like that. And I remember I had this Saturday uh, where I sat down and was playing this game. Uh, he had left, and, you know, is this thing that I got basically tied up into, and I kid you not, an entire day had gone by and I played this, this game and, you know, I finished it. I, I beat the whole thing, <laughs> as crazy as that sounds, you know. Uh, it took me all day and it was like 7 o'clock at night. And I remember, you know, shutting it off and just thinking to myself, like, I, it's pretty cool I beat this game. But, wow, I literally just wasted an entire day of my life. And it was crazy how aware I was of it at the time, as soon as I finished up that game at the end of the day, you know, it's just, uh, it, it's interesting. I've, I've always spent, you know, I've been working since I was 12 years old. I've always had a job every weekend. Uh, I've always been in some form of a job, you know, working basically seven days a week. Um, you know, there's a small period in my life where I'd had had a job where I had weekends off, uh, but you know, they were spent obviously doing family time and whatnot, but I've never really had a, a point in my life where I had a whole lot of free time on my hands, if you will. Uh, so it's one of those things where I really start to value my time. And as I've transitioned into being a business owner, you know, in my late 20s, going into my early 30s, and, uh, you know, especially now I can tell you guys as my business has scaled, as I've added more uh, people working with me uh, within our companies, and, you know, the more people that rely on me, the more people that need my help, you know, I've only got 24 hours in my day. And every person that I add into my life, friends, family, it doesn't matter, you know, eventually starts taking small pieces and small pieces of that life. And you really have to learn how to get better with your time. And this is one of those things that uh, I've become hypersensitive to. You know, I, it, it's almost I, 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 I really can break down and dissect my days uh, on where I'm spending my time and what I'm doing. You know, a lot of people question and wonder, you know, you guys have probably seen, for those of you guys have been following me for a while on social media, you guys see the videos of me, you know, four o'clock in the morning, I'm up, I'm usually up running, getting my workout done, and they say, you know, what the heck are you doing getting up at 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning? And the reason I do that is to give myself and buy myself a little more time, right? I, I can't squeeze any more time between 6 in the morning and 6 o'clock at night. It's impossible. It's 12 hours. But if I need to buy myself a little more time, what I did was I got myself up at 3.30. Now, to be honest with you guys, this is nothing that's been new for me. Uh, I've been getting up at 3.30 for a long time in my early years. You know, my one of my first jobs I had, I had to get there super early. Uh, and then into my late teens, I used to do construction. I used to work in some of the fields, uh, picking melons and whatnot. Uh, 18, all the way into like 21, 22 years old, I worked at a, a warehouse distribution center where I'd worked on the weekends and that job started. I had to be there by 3.30 in the morning, so I'd have to leave my house by 2.30 in the morning. So I'm by natural uh, ability just an early bird, right? I don't really need an alarm clock to wake me up. Uh, but that time between 3.30 in the morning and about 6 a.m. is me time. That's my time that I had to buy myself. That's before my phone's ringing. That's where I had to carve out a little time in my day to get my mind right, to do my workouts, to get everything done for me because the rest of my day is going to be filled basically giving back to my, you know, my, my clients, my customers, uh, the people that work directly with me, the people that need my coaching. So many people come to me and say, you know, I have no time. I have no time in my day. And I can literally sit down and I can pick apart their entire day and see where they are wasting time. You know, you have 24 hours in a day. You dedicate six to maybe eight hours a day of sleeping. You know, it's going to leave you guys 
18 hours or whatnot to get work done, to spend time with your family, you know, and how you divvy up that day is going to determine how much you can possibly get done. But time is going to be your most limited commodity that you have available to yourself. And you're going to be the one that needs to choose how you are going to spend that time and where you're going to spend that time. I challenge you guys going into next year to really think about how you choose to spend your time right now. Are you spending it being productive? Are you wasting it? Do you spend it on Saturday sitting on the couch? Do you spend it on the weekends sleeping in? You know, one thing that goes right along with time management, honestly, is having a set routine. This, again, is something that I had to adapt at an early age and something that I still continue to do. You know, there was a, a poll I had saw or a survey, uh, probably it's been about 10 years now, uh, but it's something that if you guys look into, you'll see some research. And they had done a screening, basically like an interview of the top 10 most wealthy people in the, uh, the world, basically. You know, they, they look for these uh, common characteristics, common traits uh, that the, the ultra high achievers have. Uh, these are the people, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. It, they're considered a super hyper ultra achiever if they get done more than the average person. And the one common trait that all of these top 10 individuals had that they found was having a set routine. Now, having a set routine goes right into and falls into place with time management. Again, this is another thing that I don't see enough people doing. However, I will say that most of the people that I know that are super successful on a personal level, like I said, these could be my friends, family, uh, people I know, people I mentor underneath uh, that coach me, all of them have some form of a set routine. The set routine is going to lead you guys and set you guys up to be consistent, but the set routine also makes sure that you guys are sticking to structures throughout your day to best utilize your time. You know, you carve out if you wake up at a certain time in the morning, be that four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock, you're at the gym, six o'clock, you're back at home getting ready. You've now set the tone for your day. You set out that time. You know, I understand it's not easy to have a set routine every day. I understand that not every day goes as smooth as possible. I understand that not every day you're going to be completely motivated. But putting yourself in motion through a routine is what's going to help propel your, your motivation and keep you motivated to get your day going, even if you're not feeling motivated. Have you ever had those days where you thought about going to the gym? You didn't feel like it. You had to drag yourself out of bed. Your feet hit the floor. The last thing you want to do is get out from underneath those warm sheets, get up, get dressed, go to the gym and work out. But you do it anyways. You push yourself out of there. You get dressed, brush your teeth, you head out the door, you hit the gym, and you have a great workout. And as soon as you're done and you walk out of that gym, you're highly motivated, right? You're, you're super proud of your accomplishments. You feel great that you did it. That falls in a line with having a routine, right? If you have a routine, you're not giving yourself options. You know that you have to get up at a certain time. You know you have to do this at a certain time. You basically go through and you time block your day to make time for yourself, make time for your family, make time for your work, and you're basically structuring your day to best utilize your time. So I would challenge you guys. If you guys are going into next year, if you guys feel like right now, you know, and, and one of the tell signs you guys have right now is if you have a poor time management or if you're wasting time is, you're not getting enough done in your day that you know you need to get done. Uh, your days are super inconsistent. One day you're getting up early, the next day you're getting up late. You know, you start to stick to a plan and you fall off of that. You guys really need to sit down and develop a set daily routine for yourself that's going to best utilize what you guys have going on. So again, going into 2022, really put a focus on how you're utilizing your time. You know, one simple little task you can do for your day, if you feel like you're busy and you're not wasting time, Carry a little notepad around with you or even on your cell phone. Get your cell phone out and open your notes pad and really sit down for a day and document everything that you do for that day time by time, right? So just sit down and basically write out what time you woke up. Next thing you do, write down what you did. You know, what time did you eat breakfast? How long did that take you? What time did you go to the gym? As you sit down and you start to write out what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, because I get it. You probably feel busy. A lot of people feel busy with what they have going on. You know, I'm super slammed. I don't have any time. I'm stuck at work here doing this. You know, really sit down and document what it is you do on a day-to-day -day basis. And I guarantee you, you can pull out an extra three to four hours of productivity in your day to dedicate towards something that you want to. What that is, is completely up to you. Hopefully you're putting that to good use in something that could be with family time. It could be if you want to start a business, you dedicate that extra three or four hours that you thought you were busy into starting your business. Uh, you know, it could be through personal development. 
you know, uh, one big eye opener for me uh, when I had started doing this, really sitting down and time blocking my days out is it kind of takes me back to when I had a set job, right? I had a corporate job. This was one of the things, by the way, uh, that drives me nuts about just a standard set eight to five job is, you know, when I had a corporate job, I, you know, I had a certain amount of tasks that I had to get done through a day. Realistically, in that eight hour day that I was sitting there, you know, I had to clock in, I had to sit down, I had to go to a meeting here. Oh, I got to take a break here, got to do this. And that eight hour day, realistically, I was probably doing two to three hours of true deep work. The rest of that was just fillers, pointless meetings, the things that the big corporate structure wants you to have. There was no true value behind it. You know, commuting time, going there every day, sitting in the office, you know, just complete waste of time. The whole set, the whole corporate structure with that to me was an ultimate waste of time for myself where you know, now I operate on a level of daily task. I don't pay attention to the clock. I don't say, okay, today I'm only gonna work five hours. I'm gonna punch in and punch out. I have a set task that need to be completed. Now, within those set tasks, every day I do have something that has to be done. I have my non-negotiables that need to be done, right? I have my me time, I have my workout time in the morning to get my head up and going, get my day rolling. And then I have my daily you know, meetings with my team, with my people. I got my customer. I got my windows blocked out to spend time with my customers, make meetings for that. But ultimately, I'm not wasting time. I'm not just sitting there when I'm done with one meeting, twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the next meeting to start. You know, I'm utilizing that time to the best of I can to get as much done as I can. You guys would be so surprised in how productivity shoots through the roof for yourselves if you guys are sitting down and actually breaking down your days and your time and your hours, hour by hour, and really documenting what it is you were doing. And I bet you guys would find, like I said, an extra two to three hours in your day. Going into 2022, make this one of your biggest focuses. How are you spending your time and are you best utilizing it to the best of your capabilities or are you wasting time? If you wanna see an ultra successful year, I would highly recommend dialing in what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, really documenting that and dedicating each hour to a specific task, you know, time block. This is something even myself I have to struggle with some days. You know, I'm pretty, I'm a structured and I'm a pretty routine person. And it's probably one of the biggest keys to my success is my ability to have a structure and do the same thing every day. I'm extremely consistent. I focus in on what works. I take away what doesn't work. I don't spend a whole lot of time, you know, wasting it doing things. I don't watch TV. I don't sit around and listen to the radio. You know, I don't read magazines. I don't do any of that stuff. If I spend any time doing that, I'm going to read a book. I'm going to listen to a podcast. I have taken any free time I have, and I spend that basically learning something new. You know, doing these little day-to-day -day actions are going to completely transform your guys' life. That would be my advice to you guys going into next year. You know, we're in November right now. We're getting ready to finish out 2021. It's been a crazy year. It's been a hectic year. And I know a lot of people are looking forward to 2022 coming around and doing something different and really scaling up their life, right? This is something I think you guys should really pay a focus to. I think this is one of the things that is the most underrated that not enough people talk about is really managing your time and what you do on a day-to-day -day basis and freeing up your schedule, tightening it up so that you can get more done in a day in the same amount of time that you're currently doing right now so that your results go through the roof. Hopefully this is helpful for one of you guys. You know, like I said, really take it to heart, try to implement it and let me know how it goes. As always, hopefully you guys have a killer day. It's super productive. Get out there and crush it, guys.